Hello, my name is Brett Yule, and I'm going to be going through on how to solve an ideal gas equation if we know the initial values of one kilogram of water are in a container. The initial temperature is 298 Kelvin. The initial pressure is one bar, which is equal to one times cent of fifth Pascals. And we know the following for the final values that it's heated and is a closed system. The final pressure we want to be two bar. And we know that the final moles of water that we want are 0.3 moles. And that is moles of water in the vapor phase. However, we do not know the final temperature or the volume. So first of all, we know that the final pressure is equal to the pressure of the air in general plus a pressure of the water. And we know that the final pressure must be equal to 2 times 10 to 5th Pascals, which is this 2 bar. And then we know that the in air, we can use the pH2O to determine the N of H2O. So using the ideal gas law, the ideal gas law is essentially PV equals NRT. If you do not know, that is what many of these equations are built off of. So going more into depth of the pressure of the H2O, we can know the moles of H2O equals the pressure of water times the volume of the water all over the gas constant R and then the temperature. And we also know that the moles of the water is 0.3 moles, so we can also set this equal to 0.3 moles. So now we have two unknowns in these equations essentially, which are the volume and temperature. So we need to figure out how to get these values. So I'm gonna move this equation down here so I have room to work. So pressure equals P air plus pressure of the water vapor. And we can put the vapor here. So remind us that's a vapor. And equals two times 10 to fifth Pascals. All right. So we know that P air using this equation right here, just specifically looking at air, P air is equal to the moles of air times the gas constant R times temperature all over the volume of the vapor. And again, and uh, ignore that, that's not equal. And we can add this pressure of the H2O in the vapor phase. And this must be also equal to two times 10 to the fifth Pascal. And that's because this right here all equals the P air. So here, let me move this down some. And we can also write it in vice versa. Uh, in air equals what will be PV over RT. However, <clears throat> all of the initial pressure is pressure due to the air. So we know the initial pressure is essentially P air. So we can go ahead and put PI and multiply that by the volume of vapor. 
and over R, T, I, because that's essentially what we know in the beginning. And this V vapor, so we know that the V total, total volume must equal the V vapor plus the volume of the actual liquid water. So then we know that V vapor must be equal to the V total minus the volume of liquid water. And in order to get volume of liquid water, we would use a mass of water divided by the pressure of the water to get that. So then another thing we could do is the moles of the water in the vapor phase is equal, again, using this PV equals NRT, is equal to the pressure of the water times the volume of vapor, all divided by gas constant and a temperature T. And we eventually want that to equal 0.3 moles in the end. So essentially these are the ideas, concepts, and equations in which I will describe in another video and we will actually code and solve this.